Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover how to add user defined object in the asset. To explain this, I have created this sample program. First, I will run this program, then I will explain. Uh, this is the output of uh, this sample program. Inside main method, I am creating asset, and in asset, I am specifying we can add only employee object. Uh, I will show you how the employee class look like. Uh, this is the employee class. And in this class, I have defined uh, three variables, name, age, and salary. And uh, I have declared uh, one constructor. This constructor is parameterized constructor. Using this constructor, we can create the employee object. And uh, it has uh, getter and setter methods for uh, these three variables, name, age, and salary. You can see the getter and setter here. And uh, I have overridden uh, to string method and uh, this method will return the employee information okay and here i am creating uh, three employee objects john david and peter uh, these three employee objects i am adding in the asset and then i am displaying the asset content here you can see the asset output it has uh, three employee objects this is a first employee object this is a second employee object and uh, this is a third employee object okay and then i am using uh, for each loop to get each employee object from the asset and uh, display the output okay and here you can see i am displaying each employee object information one by one okay this is the first employee object information uh, this is the second employee object information and uh, this is the third employee object information okay and uh, this is about uh, how to add user defined object in the asset and uh, thanks for watching bye